What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're just looking at the guts. The guts of the BVS HD. I just pulled out the rotor. Pulled it out of the stator. And so we're going to do a little operation tonight. We're going to do a little operation. So the, uh, the BVS HD rotor that thing was easier to get out than on the o2 and i just i had one of these like really grippy gloves and i basically just grabbed it with my hand and pulled it out as straight as i could and it just came out pretty easily i mean i had to give it a good pull but i got it out try just wiping this thing off get all the grease off this with a paper towel or something and then just use one of these really grippy gloves and just grab onto it with the glove on your hand like this and just you know just pull it hold on to the I was holding on to the motor kind of like you know along the edges here where you can get a good grip and I just pulled it right out so I'm gonna do a modification here to try and help with the thermals of the motor so I was talking with my good buddy Benji Benji 22 down in the comments I email Benji from time to time and we talk about e-bike things and stuff about the HD especially so Benji he's pretty smart about all this stuff so he uh, he did a thread about how he put thermal paste in his motor and it helped out with uh, heat dissipation so I'm gonna try and do the same thing that uh, that Benji did so what I've done here and what we get what you gotta do first is I pulled the rotor out right so this thing is out of here. So that's out, and then I loosened all these screws to the point where they're loosey-goosey. They're just uh, coming loose, all right? So there's all these guys that thread into various places on the motor. So they all kind of come loose, and then at some point, you can basically just hold this part with one hand and then kind of tip it upside down with the other hand, and all of the windings and the stator and everything pops out very easily. So this is different than the BBS-02. On the BBS-02, this whole thing is just like press fit inside of the motor, and there's not really much of an air gap on the O2, but for some reason on the HD, we've got an air gap down in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop these, these guts out, we're gonna pop the stator out. I don't know if this is important or not, but I've marked, I've marked a couple lines here. Right here, right here, I marked a line right here, just so that I'm able to like line things back up when I get done. Hopefully that is good enough. And I'm gonna try and take this stator out and just keep it all together as one piece somehow. So that I can just take it out and then just plop it back in when I'm done. Um, I, the circuit board is kind of just like loosey goosey going up and down, it's still, it still is stuck down into the stator with the through the hall sensors. Like they are stuck down in the magnets. So you just want to be aware of that. All right. So I'm gonna try and do what I just described. Pop this thing upside down and get the stator out of this motor shell. Okay. So it seems to be working pretty good. I'm just holding it upside down like this, mostly with my fingers pressing against the screws, and then I can just pull this shell right up off of this so i'm gonna do that you can see it's already started all right see so this came off in one piece pretty good so now what i'm gonna do is let me get the uh let me get this out of my hand i'm just gonna try and set it somewhere just like this so that we don't have to reassemble it as long as you keep the screws in there, it all kind of like stays together pretty good. So it's just, mine's just chilling right over here for now. So what we want to do here, guys, is we want to fill in these air gaps with something better than air, right? We want to fill in all of these gaps with something that is going to transfer heat to the outside of this case better than air. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, I don't know if you guys have ever built a computer and put a CPU into a motherboard when you're building a computer, but you use something like this, thermal compound. So this is MX4 thermal compound. I've got a big 20 gram tube of it. 
and we're gonna pump this in here along the outside ring of this thing. And we're gonna spread this paste, it's like a paste. It's gonna be, this is gonna take a while. We're gonna spread this stuff around this whole outside ring of this thing so that so that when we put this thing back in there these magnets are going to be pressing against the thermal paste and then the thermal paste will be up against the edge of the motor right so we just want like a nice thick layer of this stuff <clears throat> inside of here um i mean it's probably not going to take much around the edges here but then i think we can put a bunch down here as well because there's there's quite an air gap on the bottom too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start smearing this stuff around inside of there. So I'll show you what it looks like. Well, now that I'm looking at the stator, there's kind of like these, these little gaps along the edge of the stator. What do you guys think that is about? Is that there for a reason? I think I'm just gonna fill it with this thermal paste. So what I wanna focus, it's gonna be easier to spread this stuff around in here for sure. But anything like this on the stator where there's these little recesses, I'm gonna fill that up first and then just kind of smooth it out and have a nice layer of that stuff just to fill in that air gap. I mean, I think that the gap is just there because that's kind of the shape of the magnets or whatever. So I'm gonna go around this thing, pump some of this into all these little crevices first, and then we'll put the rest of this in here along the edge. Something kind of like this, you know, just fill in the gap. I'm not gonna do the screws, I'm not gonna do those screw holes, cause that would be a messy screw. And then when you unscrew it, all that thermal paste would probably get like sucked up onto that PCB. But I'm gonna fill in all these crevices like this one where there's no screw. There's that big gap. I filled that gap up. Okay, so I filled in all these little cracks, kinda like this. Now we're gonna focus our attention back in here. And this is gonna take a while to spread it around inside of here, but I'm just gonna do it around the edge of this inner ring. All right, so I'm taking this thermal paste, I'm spreading it around in here. Um, so I did about, I did two, this is about a pea-sized amount. So I did about a pea, two pea-sized amounts, kind of smeared out to about that surface area. I'm using like a little, a little spatula spreader stick thing that I got with my Amazon.com thermal glue link in the description below. Subscribe, like, and subscribe. So I'm just gonna keep spreading it out like this. So I'm just starting out like this. I wanna kind of spread it evenly and then see, I don't know how far this 20 grams is gonna go. So I wanna make sure I'm spreading it like around the case evenly. I'll do two little blobs like this and go around the whole thing, spreading that around and then we'll get, we'll get that done and see how much I have left. So I'm kind of developing a strategy here as I go along. So it seems to work good is put the blobs towards the back and then you can just kind of smear it all around in the back and then kind of smear it towards you. All right, so there it is on the inside. Basically just did one layer. I put it towards the back and then you can see the long, just kind of smeared it towards me in one big long stroke. It's very, it's very like pasty, like it's it's really thick and sticky, like it's hard to spread. You're gonna need like a, some kind of, you know, little plastic thing probably to spread it around in there. Maybe even like a spatula or something, I don't know. So then I'm also, there's an air gap that's down in here as well. So I'm gonna get some down in here on this surface in addition to along the edge. I don't think you need a whole lot along the edge. Like you don't, cause there's gonna be a screw going in there. So I think when that screw goes in that hole, there's not a whole lot of room. The paste will probably fill in the hole from the screw displacing it. And there's not a big gap between, you know, between the edge here 
I also put just tiny little gooberts of the thermal paste in these spots. And then my theory is that when I press the stator down on there, it's just gonna kind of smush that down like a CPU would. You know, like, it'll just kind of get smushed down onto that surface and coat those surfaces there. And then I don't, I don't know, I was thinking about putting some down in here, but there's like this, there's that piece of paper that goes underneath the stator to insulate it from the case. So, I don't know, I mean, hopefully the thermal paste doesn't interfere with that little piece of paper's ability to insulate things. I mean, I wonder... I wonder what happens if that piece of paper gets soggy, you know? Hmm. Something to consider. Alright, so that is it for the thermal goop. It is all gone. I've smeared as much down in there as I could. Don't smear any down in the middle there. That's where that bearing needs to go for the rotor. So now I'm just going to get the stator all back in here I've got these sharpie marks that I put on there just in case I need help like aligning everything so the MX4 thermal compound has been installed in the BBS HD alright so I put this little piece of paper insulator thing back down here I mean, honestly, you might even want to use something else. But this is what I have. Alright guys, so you can see I'm smooshing it back down in. Oh, it's just sinking down in there, just on its own. Nice. Ah. So I like it. I feel like we've got a good amount of goop in there. So let's, uh, let's screw this thing back down in there. All right, so I use my grease stick to add a little bit, bit of grease onto here on the rotor. And then I smeared off just a little bit onto the edge right there. So I'm gonna pop this all back together and we'll see how this does with the thermal paste in there. So that's basically it for this video. That's what I did to this BBS HD to modify it. I put thermal paste on the inside of it to kind of help with heat dissipation. So we're not going to test it or like have any scientific objective numbers in this video, but just moving forward, the Adventure Mobile has the thermal paste in the BBS HD. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. See you next time.